I would have to keep all of the law. I would have to keep it perfectly. I would have to be able to do that. And if I did, then I would be earning my way because I would be working the deeds of the law. I would be doing the good things kind of like Jesus did. Well, exactly like Jesus did because the Bible says that Jesus always did those things that were pleasing unto the Father. We know that Jesus was without sin, and um, which means he not only didn't do the things the Bible says not to do, he also did all of the things the Bible says that we need to do. So by the works of righteousness of Jesus Christ, he's the one who bought and paid for our salvation. It's not us. He's the only one who's ever earned salvation. And that's why he gets the glory. And he is the Savior. He's the one that saves you. We can't save ourselves. And if you're, if you're looking to the law as even part of your salvation, then I'm sorry, friend, you are not saved. Because the law cannot save you. You are looking to receive your own reward that is, that is not reckoned of grace but of debt, as if God would owe that to you, uh, your salvation because of how good of a person you are. And ultimately, people who believe that you, that believing, putting your faith on Jesus Christ, believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, people who believe that that's not enough for salvation, at, at the heart of it are proud people. They're proud people. I talk to people all the time, and many people believe in this work salvation, and they'll say, well, you can't just, I mean, you can't just sin, or you can't just do this, or you can't just do that. The reason why I say they're proud people is because even the ones that will recognize, well, they're a sinner, they don't want to think that they're that bad. It's, it's, it's one of these things where they look at other people and say, well, they can't be saved. Their, you know, their sin is worse than my sin. See, my, I sin, but my sin's not that bad because I'm still trying to follow God's law and I'm doing all this other stuff. And they have excuses for why their sin isn't bad enough to send them to hell. But someone else's sin is bad enough. And it's a way of measuring themselves against somebody else. As opposed to just saying, look, I am a sinner and I do not deserve salvation at all and I cannot earn it. And whether I obey God's law or not, I've already sinned and I already deserve a punishment and I need grace and I need a Savior. And when you put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, He's faithful and true and will give you that free gift because that's what He promised Yea, and God that cannot lie promised eternal life. He promised that unto us. He promised that gift of salvation. But let's get to now verse number 6 where, because it's important to get this context in Romans 4 verses 1 through 5. It brings up Abraham first and saying, look, if Abraham were justified by his works, then he'd be able to glory about it. But you know what? Not before God, because God knows that he's a sinner. Abraham needed the forgiveness of his sins. He was not justified by the law. He was justified by faith. When he believed God, when he believed the promises that God gave unto him, God counted that faith as righteousness. That is how Abraham received forgiveness. That is how his soul was saved. That is how Abraham was born again. And yes, people have been born again all throughout history. Jesus rebuked Nicodemus in John chapter 3 when he taught him about being born again. He said, yeah, thou art my master in Israel, knowest not these things? He said, you don't even know about being born again? How could you call yourself a master of Israel and you don't even know the most basic thing, the most simple things? Why would he rebuke some, someone about not knowing something that they could have never known about? Of course people knew about salvation and being born again. Nicodemus didn't. He was unsaved. Yet he was, he was supposed, supposedly a teacher of the law and he needed, someone, he needed that someone teach him which be the, uh, the principal things. 